Next question is from Year 95 Kiddo. What are some things I can do to stay disciplined and motivated to work out at home? I've gotten so bad that my husband started calling it naps anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dude, hey, so, so so real talk here, right? So there's a thread in our private forum Naps. right now. I'm glad you went to this church. And, you know, someone's like, man, I am, I'm, basically people are on their venting how they're just, they're, they're cracking at the seams. You know, a, a, a fitness, dude, en- yes. fitness enthusiasts, first off, I'm sure a lot of people are feeling this way, but if you're a fitness enthusiast, you have a wonderful mechanism to deal with stress. You've probably done it for years. It helps you deal with anxiety. You feel healthy so you can handle things differently. And for a lot of people, it's been taken away because they can't go to the gym. So now they have to do it at home, totally different environment, very different challenge, maybe not as motivating for the person. Maybe they just feel like, oh, this is a bad substitute. So I totally can relate to how difficult it is right now. This Now, on the podcast, we've talked many times about the difference between motivation and discipline. Motivation comes and goes. Circumstances definitely affect it. Sometimes they're internal circumstances. Sometimes they're external circumstances. And when we're motivated, nobody needs to convince us to exercise. Nobody convinces us to eat right. We're just It's easy because we feel it. But sometimes, and all of us go through this, motivation goes away. And this is where discipline is comes to play. And discipline is hard. Motivation is easy. And so my advice to people in this situation is number one, accept that it sucks. Mm. Accept it. Okay. What's the next step now? I'll tell you what I've been doing. I have an alarm on my phone that goes off every single day, 740 family mobility time. Now, why do I set that alarm? Because at 740 at night, I'm many times unmotivated to gather the kids, you know, move the couch and everything, get on the carpet. We're all going to do mobility together. I just don't want to do it. Maybe I'm in the middle of watching TV. I finished writing a blog for the company. I'm whatever. I don't want to do it. But the alarm goes off. And what that alarm does is it reminds me to stay disciplined. So now I have to ignore the call. So it's one extra thing that reminds me like, okay. And you know what? Sometimes I get up and I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But I do it. I keep doing it. I don't want to do that. But then I do it. And you know what ends up happening when you do this consistently? It gets easier. It gets easier. I don't necessarily feel more motivation. It just gets easier to be disciplined when I'm not motivated. So I, I hate to say that that's the answer uh, because it's not an easy like hack or trick, but it is. That's really the only answer. Did you? I'm going to go a different direction with this. Did you see my response on that thread? No, by I chance? didn't. Okay, so I, I responded later on that on that thread that you're talking about, and I went a different direction. And and uh, everything that Sal said, I agree with, um, but. Uh, and this is totally not favorable for this company. In fact, uh, you know, we haven't really talked much about this, but if it wasn't for us creating Maps Anywhere four years ago, um, we probably would have had to furlough some of our employees. We wouldn't have been able to keep the business operating going. It would have been very challenging for us. But luckily, we were blessed. We created a program that literally fit the needs of tons of people in this situation. And so it's it's helped keep us alive during a time when I think everybody is struggling. Now, that being said, what I'm going to say doesn't support our business whatsoever, um, but it is what I re- replied to this person on this forum. Uh, I told them that, you know, I too have, have felt this right now. I love the gym. I like, we have our own little private gym here, and I prefer to go where there's people lifting and grunting and sweating and music pumping and great physiques walking around. It just, it helps me stay focused and push through my workouts. And it's, it, it's te- the guy I was complaining to who wrote this in the forum you know, that that's kind of been his sanctuary and you know, home is home. And mm-hmm. the the two of them blending together is really not making him feel like he's being able to detach from all the home stuff. So I can totally relate to this. <clears throat> and my response is this. Um, I'm not following any program right now. I'm not following our maps anywhere. Although I did a maps anywhere workout the other day, I'm not following our program to a T right now. I'm playing. And, and that's my attitude. One day I might bike ride. One day I may row. One day I may do bench press the entire hour and just work on my mechanics. One day I'll do an hour of intense mobility work. Mm. I might swing the clubs around, try and get good like Justin. 
I'm not putting this pressure on myself that I can't lose muscle. I got to make gains. I need to maintain. I mean, Maps Anywhere, that's why it was designed. It was designed so you could go and train at home and see fucking results. That's It's an amazing program. But the reality is if you if it's starting to mess with your mental space like this because you're putting all the pressure around, you know, needing to keep training a certain way to maintain or to see results, it's like, you know, for me, this is not that time. This time for me is like, hey, I recognize that I am trapped in my house way more than I've ever been. I recognize that I'm probably not going to get to go to my sanctuary gym and stuff like that. I'm not going to worry so much about it, but I do know, smart enough to understand calories in versus calories out, that I could really easily start to creep up and put a lot of body fat on if I don't stay active and make good choices. Mm -hmm. So I'm playing right now. I'm playing with no rhyme or reason, with no structure, no real... This, this is why I'm doing this. I just go where my heart leads me. And sometimes that is, hey, hun, let's go over and, and get the bikes out and let's just go for a two-hour ride on flat ground and just look at the scenery and shit like that. Mm, or yeah. it might be, I'm going to go down in my garage and just rip the rower and see what I can get the freaking watts up to. Or it might be, you know what, man, I've been meaning to get better at those Indian clubs and Justin's so good at it. I want to get good at it. And he's got great shoulder mobility. I need to do that. My shoulder's bothering me. And so I do that for a whole hour. Mm. Like, so great, st- great advice. Stop yeah. no, putting, good. stop putting so much pressure on yourself that we need to be making gains or we need to be cautious that we might lose muscle right now. Yes, we have the shit, the program for you out there, but right now, you know what? It's more, I think your mental health takes the front seat on all this and find things that you just like to do. No, it's great. Cause I, I think, you know, a lot of it too is like, you get this this insecurity. You're not being productive. Like I get this all the time. Oh, like, yeah. You know, if I'm at home and and something's not getting accomplished, like so I've I've been torn between a workout or you know improving something on the house. And it's like you can't always have that energy. You just can't always have that energy carrying uh, with you because then you start uh, you know interacting with your kids with with your your spouse like. And, and then you get short and then, and then you get frustrated and then you get irritated and all these things kind of stack up on you and, and to, to kind of break free of that for a bit is necessary sometimes. And, and, but also having like a foundation you can come back to is how I kind of look at it. So I I do have like a solid workout. I I try and accomplish at least three times, you know, during the week, but uh, I'm, I'm playing as well. I think that's great advice. I'm going outside. I'm, I'm grabbing unconventional equipment. I'm, I'm taking my kids on hikes. I'm, I'm trying to go where I'm allowed, you know, which is really hard for me because our, our family is is definitely this is something I've learned from from this whole lockdown thing. We are so much of a family that is on the move and, and active and, and out like we don't stay at home very often. And so this has completely changed our dynamic and to try and figure that out. It's a, it's a tough thing and, and, and we're all trying to adjust. And so I can, I could totally, you know, feel from where you're coming from in terms of the frustration of it. And I do think, yes, allow yourself uh, to sort of break free. Sometimes it'll help your mental state. Well, you know, one of the big problems is you, you we tend to compare our worst selves to our best selves. We tend to compare, hmm. we're on lockdown. We have no access to a gym. It's a little scary and uncertain right now. And so now I'm going to compare my activity levels and my diet in this situation to how my activities and diet was when none of that shit was happening before. So not fair. Totally different. So not fair. You're in a different situation now. It's harder. Um, I think you're probably doing okay, all things being considered. Do not compare yourself to yourself at your best when none of this shit was happening. So unfair at yourself. You wouldn't do this with anyone else. Don't do it with yourself.